like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it spreads its wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars listen 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 help that lady i command that spirit to leave now a time will come listen ah i wish i had time listen a time will come when you are so into your priesthood your words and your thoughts begin to pray so even when your words are silent your thoughts keep praying the bible says god is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think so your thinking is also a prayer warrior you can get to a point where even when you are done praying physically the prayer still continues so before you even say it your thought has already placed it as a request hallelujah that you get to a point in your life where if in 24 hours no one favors you you go on a retreat because you ask a question what happened to the harvest from the seeds I've sown. Hallelujah. Please give me five minutes and we're done with today's service. We're going to be praying and while we're praying two things will happen here. Number one that if at all any chain followed you here except God is not God. Here at House on the Rock Port Harcourt, that as you pray those chains must fall that tomorrow by tomorrow morning you will not even be able to testify you will stand here and wonder the god that doeth wonders is someone ready to pray lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit come on house on the rock Faith, we understand that the worlds were made framed by the word of God. Pray, you are commanding power in the realm of the spirit. Program realities over your destiny. Program realities over your life. Arise, shine for your light is come. Even the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Outside, make sure you are praying at the overflows. Those online, make sure you are praying. Determine the outcome of your destiny. You are a priest unto God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Please listen to me. Listen. Let me teach you something we are praying. Complaining and blaming things is one of the ways we transfer responsibility and our authority in the realm of the spirit. When God came to Adam, pastor, he said, Adam, where art thou? He said, I heard your voice and I hid because I was naked. He said, who told you you were naked? God never spoke to the woman until God, Adam, gave him permission. He said, the woman. And God didn't talk to him again. He went to the woman. Woman! What is this that you have done? The serpent. She transferred authority. The serpent kept quiet. That's why he became the Lord of the cosmos. That's why when Jesus also became sin, when they called him, he kept quiet. Because had he spoken, he would transfer authority. 
the serpent satan became the god of this world by this simple mystery of using words i gave you dominion and now you say it is the woman now i leave you as i go to the woman what happened if the woman kept quiet she would have become head over man immediately but the woman said the serpent and the serpent did not blame anybody so he became the god of this world until jesus came his silence was a mystery of restoring dominion and now that he's victorious let the redeemed of the lord let the healed of the lord let the lifted of the lord let the anointed of the lord can you lift your voice and begin to say so say so say so kabarato shalata say so Say so over your health. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the lifted of the Lord say so. Let the powerful of the Lord say so. Shabranda kaparus kaparita shalata zikata Embreketos kaparito shaziata hasa Hallelujah 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 Praise the name of the Lord Now listen One of the advantages Of prayer is dominion over time real dominion is not dominion over things it is dominion over time whoever exerts dominion over time is a priest indeed are we together yes. the one thing we all have is time and when the devil wants to destroy your destiny because it is a function of time it will cause your time to just be wasted or delayed the disciples had gone six hours ahead of jesus and jesus stayed back knowing he was already delayed he began to pray and the moment he was praying when he was done he got up and started walking on water within a few moments he had caught up with them in the next one minute someone is going to be accelerating in the spirit as you pray lift your voice in one minute and declare that you gain time Time has been lost through ignorance. Time has been lost through mistakes. Time has been lost through wrong associations. But Lord, I place a demand. Is someone praying? Over time. I misuse January. I misuse February. I misuse March. I misuse April. I misuse May. I misuse June, July, August. September, October, but Lord, I declare, put eight months in two months, eight months in two months, in the name of Jesus the Christ of God. Hallelujah. Please hear me. Now, I know that I plead with Pastor to just say this. I want to encourage you. Whatever you will do to be here tomorrow, there is a prayer and there are impartations that I want to release upon your life tomorrow. Make that sacrifice. Bring your loved ones. This is not just a house on the rock meeting. This is only part A. Quite honestly, I, I didn't even start talking about what I wanted to talk about. I will be teaching you the laws of the spirit realm. That when you possess these realities, you will play life like a chess. It is true. Let me pray for you tonight. In the name of Jesus, standing in agreement with the grace upon your pastor, I speak over your life. That which has remained in your life as a challenge tonight, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, 
I declare that it leads your life now and forever. Help those under the anointing there. Every door that has refused to open, please hear me. In the name of Jesus, I speak to that door. A father, be open. Be open. Be open. My God, please help them. Be open. Hear me. Whatever should have entered your hand, and by whatever means has refused to come, in the name that is above all names, I compel them into your hands now. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, a supernatural quickening upon your mind. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. That as you sleep tonight, we activate visions and dreams. Revealing the matters of destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. And can I speak over someone's life? That before the sun rises tomorrow, you would have returned with a fearful testimony. I say this from the depth of my spirit. Every challenge is at the mercy of the grace that confronts it. The Bible says, as they went, the leper found out he had been cleansed. As you go tonight, I speak to you. In the name of Jesus Christ and by the ministry of angels, strange testimonies, strange encounters. For some of you, your prayer life that is dead or dying, tonight, fresh fire upon your prayer altar. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So please, by the grace of God, pay whatever price you will pay to be here tomorrow and receive that grace for the sake of your life, for the sake of your destiny, for the sake of your loved ones. Pastor, thank you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your obedience.